Hi creatives, it's Claire from Writer Counts and this is video number two in the special eight part series where we are looking at the signs that show up when you're avoiding your money. Now if you missed week one, go and find the link in the description and watch that one because that is the most obvious sign. And if you want to receive my tips on dealing with these signs directly into your inbox, go and register for the email series. So the second most obvious sign that you're avoiding your money situation, well, just not having a handle on that financial situation. So just like the chaos, this sign comes in multiple layers. So maybe you start with just guessing rather than knowing what's in your bank account, what's on your credit card, how much you have available to you, and that's not necessarily to spend, just available to you. Now it doesn't have to be to the cent perfect. I don't need you to know that you have $134.22 in that account, but you really do need to have a general idea of being um, aware of knowing, in fact, what that financial situation in your accounts is. So, you know, maybe you say somewhere around a hundred bucks, somewhere a hundred, 150 bucks. That's fine. It doesn't have to be exact. So the next layer of this is we get into then presuming that there will be enough money in our account or on our credit card to cover buying that new course, paying the rent or buying your fifth after purchase after pay purchase this month you know presuming there's going to be enough and just really not having a handle on that situation happens for so many people so this comes back to um working out as well what your fat lifestyle costs you so maybe you don't know how much you need to support your current lifestyle what does it cost you to run your life on a weekly or a monthly basis. And yes, people call that a budget. But what about the lifestyle that you want? You know, the lifestyle with the wine membership and the monthly spa trips with the girls and the annual trip to the amazing business conference. What will that cost you going forward? So ultimately, not having a handle on your overall financial situation, this empowers your relationship with money. You think things like net worth don't apply to you. Never mind, how would you even go about actually working that out? Now, don't at all think that I am perfect and that I've always had a handle on things. I know these signs very well too. Now, you could have visibly measured my shame when after university, before getting a job, I went into my overdraft by a few quid. Yes, I was still in England then. And the penalties of that overdraft cost me more than I'd actually overdrawn by, which was really annoying because I got into the habit of presuming there was enough money in my accounts. And it would have taken me moments to check before I went and made that purchase. Now, things weren't quite as easy back then with smartphones and banking apps that will tell you your balance, but I could have walked to the cash machine and done a simple bank balance check. So remember, we make it harder than it needs to be because then we can use that as a reason not to deal with it. So we just presume that there's enough money in our account because then we don't have to think about it. So, but that really isn't giving you the financial power of knowing what's in your account, being able to use that money wisely, being able to see your net worth grow, which is really cool feeling when it happens. So what can you do? this week to streamline and to make your financial life easier and to get a handle on that overall financial situation. And remember, you don't have to go from having no handle on it to having the perfect handle on it. Sign up for the emails and get three tips, entry level, medium level and advanced level to deal with this particular sign by following the link in the description to the video. If you've enjoyed the video, I would love you to give me a like, leave me a comment, 
with how you manage to avoid your financial situation and you can subscribe and get notifications to receive these videos in your YouTube feed.